I'm Hannah. Hi. It's my job to think about what we believe and what we want to happen. And also my job to help create the streams of work, like the events, the publications, and the engagement that we do with different people to try and make those things happen. Um, so I guess an example of it, which is really concrete, is um, we have a podcast called Progressive Britain, which I host. And one of the things that we do is we go around and we speak to MPs, campaigners, um, people doing interesting things in their community and ask them about what they do and why. I do well because I can write well, which is a thing lots of my office can't do. And also I have a good eye for proofreading, so I proofread everything, they call me the pen. And it also means I have to see everything before anything gets sent anywhere, which in some ways is like quite a lot of power to have. And I think the ability to say what you mean or to feel confident speaking up for yourself but also to know when you need to shut up. And actually, one of the advantages of being the person who does everything that no one else does is you tend to get a lot of control over output. I like the fact that I feel that although it's quite chaotic at the moment, I know what I do has a real impact or could have a real impact, and that's very important to me. And it's a cause I feel very passionately about. So when I compare my job to the jobs that some of my peers might have, working in the city or in consultancy or for the civil service. They do often similar things to what I do and they get paid more, maybe they have more structure and slightly nicer lives, but actually they don't get to really make a political and values-based argument, which is what it's my job to do and that's the thing I care about. Why I stay and why I think my job's so important and why I'm so committed to it is that they see, and civil servants as well, see the impact of who runs the government and who is actually sat in number 10 in everything they do. Like my friend who's a mental health social worker sees the impact of funding cuts, bad management and things on people's daily lives. And for her, it's really real. It's entirely down to the fact that she doesn't have the resources she needs to support these people. And actually for her, the solution is for her to work as hard as she can, but she recognises the solution is political and not through anything that she can do herself. Um, and I think that's why a career in politics will always be important and worthwhile, even if it's not always nice <laughs> or well-paid or fun. <laughs>